It is a sight that is sure to spark a second look. Buddhist monks tackling that most Canadian of jobs, shoveling out after a winter storm at their monastery in Little Sands, Prince Edward Island. Before coming to PEI, most of these monks had never even seen snow. I thought it was fun at the first time. It's pretty beautiful. I mean, yeah, it feels great at the first time. Yeah, but not really after the first time. Inside, other monks man the kitchen, preparing vegetarian dishes to serve to friends and neighbors invited to the monastery to celebrate Chinese New Year. The visitors gather in the great prayer hall, where the monks spend much of their day in prayer and meditation. The shrine, a spectacular sight for first-time visitors. It's quite amazing. It's, uh, I didn't realize it would be like this. I had no idea that uh, it was going to be like this in, inside. Do you notice I'm not using these? I'll be here for three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> it is a cultural smorgasbord. The East Coast meets the Far East. Wait, this is special for you. Okay. It's a sticky rice and it's made out uh, from the bamboo uh, leaves. Thank you. I wish you enjoy it. Wade Buell, who lives just down the road, admits he and his neighbors had some misgivings when they first learned the monks were going to establish a monastery here. Well, everybody kind of had these preconceived notions, I guess. Nobody really knew what exactly to expect, but people now see that it's, there's no harm, there's no, you know, they're not doing anything to bother anybody or, or anything like that. They do their own thing and that's about it. Doing no harm to people, animals, and the environment, and helping others is at the heart of the monks' spiritual beliefs. I, I think the essential belief of Buddhism is the belief of karma, that whatever you do, there will be consequence. So the good deed that you do, there will be a present uh, consequence. And the bad thing that we do, there will be negative or unpleasant uh, consequence. These monks are from Taiwan, members of a sect of 60,000 followers known as the Great Enlightenment Buddhist Institute Society, or Jebus. They've come to this island to follow their spiritual leader. And we go wherever she goes. And as for her, uh, she, since she was a little girl, uh, there's uh, this Dr. Norman Berthew, who helped a lot of uh, Chinese people during the war. And, um, Ever since she was little, she has this uh, wish that one day she uh, wants to repay the kindness to uh, the Canadian people. So that's why Canada. As far as YPEI, the first time she arrived on this island, she just loved the serenity of this place and the heartwarming atmosphere. And this is um, uh, a perfect place for monks to practice. A perfect place, but moving halfway across the planet has its challenges. A new language, a new culture, and of course, our harsh Canadian winters. So the first winter here, nobody had a clue how to drive in an icy road. Nobody knew how to dress up to keep us warm. And when the power go, went out, um, basically just, just a lot of challenges that we've uh, never seen before. And a lot of times we will just end up in a ditch, and uh, friends, neighbors, uh, they knew that, oh, there, uh, there goes the monk again, so they'll come and uh, drag us out of the ditch day or night, day after day, you know, during the first year, and the islanders helped us, uh, helped us a lot during the first year. The monk's journey to Prince Edward Island began here in Montague in 2009. They purchased the lobster shanty, turning the former resort into their first monastery. Peter Wu is a lay follower who helped negotiate that deal. The lobster shanty is, is like a landmark for Montague and people are really concerned who's taking them, what are you going to do with it? And the, uh, I remember when uh, I did a little presentation to the council, councilman and the, uh, 
and I told them we were Buddhist. And I remember one of the councilmen actually said, great, no problem. We have 16 different religions in Monaco. I think we can handle the 17th one. So at that time, we figured we we're welcome and we're going to be here OK. Since then, their presence in PI has grown substantially. They built a second monastery on 160 acres of land in Little Sands, and they've purchased numerous homes to house visiting monks and lay followers who come for retreats.